The evolutionary tree of life is dying. Learn about it next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. We are all familiar with the evolutionary tree of life. It is supposed to depict how life began as a single-celled organism and over immense periods of time mutated into all the various forms of life we see today. We have offered several Creation Moments programs recently that explained how new genetic studies simply do not support this evolutionary tree. Those of us who accept young earth creationism are not the only ones who are beginning to notice this problem. Creatures that are completely unrelated, according to the evolutionary tree, have been found to have very similar genes. More often than not, DNA information disagrees with a creature's supposed lineage as it is presented on the evolutionary tree of life. Very different creatures, unrelated according to the evolutionary tree, develop from very similar genes. Our genetic knowledge of creatures is most complete with the simpler organisms. Even evolutionists have admitted that microorganisms without a nucleus do not fit into any kind of evolutionary tree. The facts are killing the evolutionary tree of life. Some evolutionists are admitting that the history of life cannot be represented as a tree. Some even ask whether the history of life can ever be known with any certainty. In short, the new genetic information now rapidly accumulating supports the Bible's teaching that each kind of creature was separately created. New genetic information shows that there are multiple trunks to the tree of life. We may be reminded, however, that the only real source of life is our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. To get a complete set of transcripts from Creation Moments programs, ask about the book Letting God Create Your Day when you visit us online at creationmoments.com and join us again for another Creation Moments, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.